Ross Clark, 2.30 in the morning, the man are making videos, you know. The reason why I'm up at 2.30, I'm notorious. I should call myself the 30 minute man. It might be like 10 o'clock at night and I'm almost finished for the night. Ready for bed. And I might say to myself, ah, oh, I've got a few little bits and pieces to do. Just like washing up the dishes and that before I go to bed. Because I mean, my mum has trained me from day one. Don't leave no dirty dishes in the sink and go to bed. The worst thing is you can wake up in the morning with dirty dishes in the sink and that. So I might have some dishes to clean or whatever in it. But it might be 10 o'clock at night, but I might be up in my bed. And I say to myself, yeah, uh, I'm just going to rest my eyes for 30 minutes. And then get up and finish up. Next thing you know, four hours has gone by and it's all two in the morning or whatever. Really. So it's two thirty right now, and yeah. ten minutes ago came down, whatever, and it washed up the dishes. So I was just on my laptop, scrolling through some of my YouTube comments and that, yeah. and I made a video. Someone commented on it, and then afterwards, I've made a response to that video, uh, to that comment that they left or whatever. Really. A man named uh, Triple C Beats, an account holder called Triple C Beats. So basically, I must have made a video, something along the lines of dismissing women, putting women in their place, whatever. Really. And he's commented on that video saying, yeah, he had to do the same. He had to walk out on a girl because she must have been late to a date. He stuck it on her, put her in her place, or at least tried told her about being late or whatever in it and she's walked up to him and put her hands on his neck and he said he had to just get up and keep it moving yeah yeah like imagine yeah you tell a gal don't be late i don't like lateness whatever 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 in it and her response to that is to put her hands on your neck that's a sick she she she's <laughs> Some people might think that that's a joke. That ain't no fucking joke. I don't care if she had a smile on her face like the Joker. That is not a fucking joke. What she's saying to you is, how dare you? Don't test me, you know. Do not test me. Imagine if he never put her in her place and they actually got serious or whatever. Isn't it? He may as well fucking put on the dog collar. Anyway... Women's bad behaviour, you have to put them in their place. Women are like badly behaved children. They will keep on taking the piss, taking the piss, taking the piss. You have to put them in their place. Even over little minor situations and that. There's a lot of times where you can think to yourself, ah, oh, you know what, I let that slide or whatever. Best not to. Best not to. Most opportunities you get to put a woman in their place, put them in their place. But mean it as well. Don't just do things for the sake of doing things. Because their behaviour is only going to get worse. Sometimes I see some girl on the street. I remember one time I was going to my friend's mum's yard to change a pool cord in Enfield, didn't it? I'm walking into this flat complex, like tower block flat, yeah, boom. I heard a gal having an argument with her boyfriend and she called him a pussy. A man's gal called him a pussy. Someone with a, called you a, and I bet that idiot is still with her now. I bet he didn't break up with her and she had to beg him back. I bet he stayed with her. Of course he stayed with her. Of course he stayed with her. Because her calling him a pussy is not the first time. I know it started off with, shut up, fuck you. Maybe even suck your mum. If a gal can call you a pussy, then get away with it. What else has she said? But you know why certain men allow girls to... Uh, behave badly and that they're scared of losing a woman blood if you're scared of losing your gal and being on your own you've already lost 
you've already lost. If you're scared of losing this woman, if you feel like you can't replace this woman, you've already lost the battle. You may as well put on a Ras Clark skirt. As man said, as minor as the situation might be sometimes, you gotta stick it on the girl. Make her know that you ain't playing. But certain man can't even do that. Do you know why? Because certain man, they can't even give a girl like a, I won't even call it like an ultimatum. Like, oh, like an ultimatum might be like a girl saying to a man, if you don't marry me by December or whatever, innit, yeah, then we're through, it's over, innit? I can't even call it ultimate cut. It's not that serious. But a man can't even stick it on a gal and say, boom, my way or the highway. Like, even in like a little minor situation and that. You know why? Because certain men are living under their gal's roof. Blood. Come from out of your girl's yard. You can't even tell a gal to leave. <laughs> How can you tell someone to leave their own yard? Even the other day, <laughs> this one was funny still. Must have had Nadia over, innit? Um, yeah, had Nadia over. And obviously, she does all that. Obviously, when I'm here, I, I do, like, obviously, when we're both at my yard, when she, she comes over to my yard, innit? Obviously, I wash up and that here and there, innit? Yeah, but she deals with all the domestic side of stuff, innit? Yeah. You have to make women, you know, do their their womanly thing or whatever in it around the yard, in it. Whether it's like, even if it's your yard, in it, yeah, boom. So I I don't cook, I don't cook. She does all of them thing, in it. Yeah. I hardly do any washing or whatever, in it. And even if I do, ninety five percent of the time she does all the hanging up and that and whatever, in it. Boom. So um, she must have done the washing, like the what wash up the clothes and that. Hung up the clothes and that, and um, she must have put the clean clothes in the basket or on the floor. Like I put the clean clothes on the floor just for a couple hours, or whatever. Really. Then I'll go and sort them out and it, whatever. And boom. So there's some clean clothes on the floor in a basket, or whatever. Really. And it's like again 10, 10 30 at night. And I said to her, Yeah, before you go to sleep. Go in the room next door and fold up them clothes. And obviously she was comfortable in the bed and that. She said, oh, can I just do it tomorrow? And man had to walk in there. Yeah. Right, watch it, watch it. Man had to get in my Jamaican swag, you know, watch. Let me show you. Let me adjust this camera. So, boom. So, obviously... I've gone in my bedroom and said to her, yeah, before you go to sleep, go next door and swipe them clothes, innit? And she's like, oh, I'll just do it tomorrow, innit? So I've said this as I've kind of like popped my head in or whatever, innit? Yeah, and walked out, innit? Yeah. So boom, as she said that, I walked back in the room. I had to get into my Jamaican swag, innit? And I come in the room now, you know. I said, listen. Tonight, you will be sleeping in a bed. It's either my bed or your bed. Watch Nadia. She got out of the bed. Yeah, doing her monkey walk, yeah? Yeah? You gotta show these girls, you know? Man not playing. Man are being business, you know? Even if it's over a little minor situation and that. But you see something like that? If I tell a girl, Go and do this or whatever, innit, yeah? If she can get away with it, she's gonna tell me no. Next thing you know, man's asking her to do something serious. Next thing you know, she's telling me no. It's not happening. It's not happening. Women are like badly behaved children. You gotta train them. And you know what, certain times, to get respect from a woman, you gotta show them you mean business. Now, situation like that, that's not showing a girl really that you mean business, whatever it is, yeah. But that's just making sure she follows instructions at all times or whatever. Boom. 
You got to show a girl you mean business. There will come a time. Where it's the real breakup. Separates the men from the boys. The real breakup is... Because every, 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 every like couples and that during relationships and that, they have their little mini breakups and that, innit? But um, there comes a time where you know, right, this is an official breakup. Literally, we could part ways today and dash that because I ain't phoning first. I ain't texting first. She got to come back to me. Separates the men from the boys. What do most men do after three or four days not talking to their girl? Man on their phone, texting or hitting them up. Oh, you know, things got heated. No, 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 nothing got heated. Yeah? Nothing got heated. Yeah, man ain't apologising for nothing. Fam. Weakness to a woman. You do that... If you go, if you're in a breakup with a gal right now, if you hit her up first, you might as well put a fucking skirt on. You might as well put a dog collar on. This is how women maintain the power. This is how women get the power. I've seen my neighbour get spoke to like a fucking idiot. There's a situation outside. Read my book. Man spoke about it. Chatting to both of them. And you know women, they always want to just say their piece, but not hear nothing back. Try to talk to her. Oh, I don't want to hear it. She's gone back in her yard. The boyfriend's outside or whatever. Isn't it? So anyway, he wants to stay outside and continue the conversation with me. Isn't it? She's gone in, come out. She's like, get in the house or whatever. Isn't it? He's like, no, 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 I want to stand outside and talk. She's grabbed him like a youth to pull him in. And he's like, get off me. She's like, get in the house now or you can fucking stay up. Spoke to him like a fucking dog. She may as well, she, she may as well have called him a pussy. She may as well have called him a pussy. Do you know why? Do, do, you, know, do you know why things are at that stage? Where a gal is talking like that. Even my own mother don't never used to talk to me like that. Obviously, my mum was raw back in the day, and I told you already, didn't it? My mum would phone me up. M U M, mum. Get your ass home and that. But even my mum didn't even talk to me mad like that. Talking to him like a little boy. Do you know why things got to that stage? Because he never showed her that he meant business. He may have asked her to do something little minor thing or whatever, and she told him no. And she weren't reprimanded. He never told her. You are going to sleep in a bed tonight. It's either my bed. Or your bed. You understand what that means, yeah? But the reason why a man can't do that. Because a man's living in a girl's yard. You can't, man, them need to stop living in a girl's yard. Stop all this partnership with yell as well. No going 50 50 in that. Have your own things. Man, need, man, man, for, for maintain the power in the relationship. Don't get it, you can still maintain the power in the relationship um, if you live under a girl's roof and it, or, or, or you're going 50 50 on a mortgage. But what's going to happen is you're going to have to leave. You're going to have to play this little game where you have to show the girl you have to leave. So you're putting yourself in an inconvenience. If you live at your girl's yard or you're on a 50-50 thing with a girl and mortgage, whatever, isn't it? at some point, you're going to have to leave that yard and show her that you mean business. Well, if you're on a 50-50 thing or you're living in your girl's yard, where's the next place you're going to go to? Auntie's yard, your mother's yard, your grandma's yard. Salvation Army, you're gonna have to go somewhere, so that's an inconvenience to you. Whereas, if you have your own place and a guy comes over to your yard, my bed or your bed, it's as simple as that. Yeah, man, you have to show these girls. And sometimes, you know what? Yeah, sometimes 
you have to lose the battle to win the war. Sometimes you are going to lose the game. My man, Triple C Beats, told the girl, don't be late. You need to try to chop the shit out of man. He lost the girl, but you know what? He won the war. You know what? The next two, three girls he might lose, but you know what? The war that he won was self respect. You know why? Because one day he's going to come across a decent girl that he likes, she likes him back. And she's going to run them little tests, look her mobile phone business out on the date when she should be, you know, engaging the conversation and that. She's going to run them little tests and take the piss and that. And he's going to stick it on her. And she's going to think, yeah, this is the type of guy that I need in my life, you know. Trust me, you never want to be afraid to stick it on a gal. Because you never know, fam. That might be the gal. That, you know, something could actually progress with. That might be a good quality gal. And if you was afraid to put it on her, then you might have just lost out on a good gal because of your, because of you being afraid and that. So never be afraid. Like trust me, man, man's man, man's man's lost the battle before, uh, gal and again, when ex girl tried to come back or whatever in it, and she asks me like, oh, when can we go out? Whatever in it, boom, but the, you get me gone, TGI Fridays in it. Phones come out, man's told to put the phone away, innit? Like, it's my phone, don't tell me. Put the phone away, I'm keeping it moving, innit? Got up, kept it moving. Never seen the gal since. She hit me up the next day, well, she was messaging me that night or whatever, innit? But hit me up the next day or whatever, innit? Yeah, but after that, that was it. Never called, never text me again. And I certainly never called and text her. Ain't spoken to her for time. Sometimes you're going to lose the battle. You know what? Winning the war, having that, maintaining that self-respect is the most important thing. Because you'll meet a better girl, you know. Eventually, you'll meet a better girl. That's going to want you to have self-respect. It's going to want you to put her in her place. That's when it matters. You got to, come on man, like, even for the sake of your kids and that, imagine you have a son. Imagine you're getting disrespected by your missus in front of your son. Is that how you want your son to grow up to be in a relationship with a girl where he has no power, no respect? He's going to look at you and think, my dad's a pussy, oh. There's some dads right now. Pussy, oh. They ain't the head of the family. You know, some 50 50 shit with their mum or with the youth's mum. With his woman. No, they ain't no 50 50 shit. Man for run things. My way or the highway. So, yeah. Sometimes in this life, you gotta lose the battle to win the war, innit? Especially with women. Well, with any, any situation, really. But there's nothing worse than being with a girl that has no respect. Trust me. It's long, blood. It's long. You're better off being fucking single and lonely than be with a girl that is that has no respect. Because girl are like little kids. They just take the fucking piss when they don't respect you. Like if a man don't respect a woman, then there's going to be a certain level or whatever. Isn't it? And he ain't even going to take the piss too much. But if a woman don't respect a man, my God. If, if a woman has the power, my God, she's going to take the fucking piss. Take the absolute piss. Take the absolute piss, blood. So a man for maintain the power and respect at all times. And the way you do that is you have to show the girl that you're willing to break up with them at any moment and fucking mean it. So yeah, so you got you got um. Sometimes in this war you got you got to lose the battle to to win the war, innit? 
ਸਟੇ ਵਾਇਸ